Welcome to Professor's Garage. Today, we are diving into the world of power steering fluid replacement. And you may wonder, when is it necessary to replace all the power steering fluid? In my previous video, we discussed the basic method to maintain power steering fluid. It's simple, just suck out some of the whole fluid with a turkey baster or a syringe and top it off with new. If you do this regularly, your power steering fluid will stay well lubricated and happy. But there are situations when a complete flush is necessary. For example, when your power steering wheel feels like it's auditioning for weightlifting competition, or perhaps you have just replaced your power steering pump. In these cases, a complete flush can work wonders. Flushing power steering fluid is safe and can help remove any debris or contaminants. Today, I will guide you through the simple steps. Raise the vehicle from the front. This makes it possible to turn the wheel without starting the engine. Using a turkey baster or a syringe, suck up as much as fluid from the reservoir. Next, remove the return hose, the one on top. Plug the return of the reservoir so that it does not leak uh, when you fill it. Connect the return hose to a clear hose with the fitting. or connect directly to a smaller size clear hose. Make sure it's a tight fit so the fluid doesn't leak during the flushing process. This will redirect the power steering fluid out of the system. Have a catch pan or bottle at the end of the hose to catch the old power steering fluid. With the setup complete, now comes the fun part. Fill the reservoir with fresh fluid Keep an eye on the level of the fluid during the flushing process. Now in the vehicle, without starting the car, do not start the engine. And you can start to turn the wheel all the way to one side, back to center, and then all the way to the other side. Repeat this process and keep an eye on the fluid level. You will notice the old fluid coming out of the extension clear tube. During this process, keep an eye on the reservoir and the fluid level. So always add fluid if the level is low. Continue this process while monitoring the condition of the fluid coming out. Initially, the fluid will be dark and dirty, but as you progress, it will become clear. You can stop when the fluid is as clear as new or when it meets your satisfaction. Disconnect the clear hoses. Reconnect the return hose to the reservoir. Finally, fill it to max. This is all the fluid that I flush out of the system. Now let's start the engine and test it. The power steering is much lighter and much more responsive now. I hope you found this video to be helpful and informative. If you do, 
please consider giving it a like and subscribe to our channel. If a professor can do it, you can do it. Until the next time, may the Lord bless you and grant you peace. 平安。